Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance that is found in all the cells of your body. While the word, cholesterol, often brings to mind negative connotations related to heart disease and other health issues, it is actually a crucial component for many bodily functions. It is used by your body to build cells, produce hormones like estrogen and testosterone, and make vitamin D. Cholesterol is also essential for the production of bile acids, which help in digesting fats. However, not all cholesterol is the same. The body carries cholesterol through the blood in two types of lipoproteins, low-density lipoprotein, LDL, and high-density lipoprotein, HDL. Understanding the difference between these two types of cholesterol, and how they affect your health, is key to managing cholesterol levels and reducing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. The role of LDL and HDL cholesterol LDL cholesterol is often referred to as bad cholesterol. This is because when there is too much LDL cholesterol in the blood, it can lead to the buildup of fatty deposits, or plaques, in the walls of arteries. These plaques can narrow the arteries, reducing blood flow to vital organs such as the heart and brain. Over time, this narrowing can lead to conditions like atherosclerosis, a significant risk factor for heart attacks and strokes. When these plaques rupture, they can also cause blood clots, which further block blood flow and increase the risk of heart attack or stroke. On the other hand, HDL cholesterol is known as good cholesterol. HDL helps remove LDL cholesterol from the bloodstream by carrying it back to the liver, where it is processed and eliminated from the body. Higher levels of HDL cholesterol are associated with a lower risk of heart disease because HDL helps to clear excess cholesterol from the arteries, reducing the likelihood of plaque buildup. Sources of cholesterol Cholesterol in the body comes from two main sources. It is produced by the liver and consumed through the diet. The liver produces all the cholesterol your body needs for its various functions. However, the foods you eat can also contribute to your cholesterol levels. Foods high in saturated and trans fats can increase your body's cholesterol levels, particularly LDL cholesterol. Animal-based foods, such as meat, dairy products, and eggs, contain cholesterol. Additionally, processed foods, fried foods, and baked goods made with hydrogenated oils are significant sources of trans fats, which can raise LDL cholesterol levels. Conversely, foods rich in unsaturated fats, such as nuts, seeds, avocados, and olive oil, can help increase HDL cholesterol levels and lower LDL cholesterol. If you found this video helpful and want to join a community dedicated to improving health, subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll receive regular updates, tips, and expert insights, and be part of a supportive network that will support you in your journey to better health. Factors affecting cholesterol levels Several factors can influence your cholesterol levels, including diet, physical activity, weight, age, gender, genetics, and overall health. Diet. Consuming a diet high in saturated fats, trans fats, and cholesterol can raise LDL cholesterol levels. On the other hand, eating foods high in fiber, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, can help lower LDL cholesterol. Physical activity. Regular physical activity can help raise HDL cholesterol levels while lowering LDL cholesterol and triglycerides. Exercise also helps with weight management, which is another important factor in controlling cholesterol levels. Weight. Being overweight or obese is linked to higher levels of LDL cholesterol and lower levels of HDL cholesterol. Losing weight can help lower LDL cholesterol and triglycerides while raising HDL cholesterol. Age and gender. Cholesterol levels tend to rise as people get older. Before menopause, women typically have lower LDL cholesterol levels than men of the same age. However, after menopause, women's LDL cholesterol levels often increase. Genetics. Your genetic makeup can affect how your body processes cholesterol. Familial hypercholesterolemia, for example, is an inherited condition that results in very high LDL cholesterol levels from a young age, increasing the risk of early onset heart disease. Overall health. Certain health conditions, such as diabetes, hypothyroidism, and kidney disease, can lead to higher cholesterol levels. Managing these conditions effectively can help control cholesterol levels. Health risks associated with high cholesterol High cholesterol, 
particularly high levels of LDL cholesterol, is a major risk factor for cardiovascular diseases. These diseases include coronary artery disease, heart attack, stroke, and peripheral artery disease. Coronary artery disease, CAD, CAD occurs when the coronary arteries that supply blood to the heart become narrowed or blocked due to the buildup of cholesterol and other substances in the artery walls. This can lead to chest pain, shortness of breath, or a heart attack. Heart attack. A heart attack occurs when a plaque in a coronary artery ruptures, causing a blood clot to form. The clot can block blood flow to part of the heart muscle, leading to damage or death of the heart tissue. Stroke. A stroke can occur when the blood supply to part of the brain is interrupted or reduced, often due to a blocked artery caused by a clot formed at the site of a plaque. This can lead to brain damage, disability, or death. Peripheral artery disease, PAD, PAD occurs when cholesterol and plaque build up in the arteries of the legs, arms, or other parts of the body, reducing blood flow. This can lead to pain, numbness, and, in severe cases, gangrene. Diagnosing and managing cholesterol levels Cholesterol levels are typically measured through a blood test called a lipid panel or lipid profile. This test measures total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, and triglycerides, another type of fat in the blood. The results are usually given in milligrams per deciliter, milligram per deciliter. Total cholesterol. A total cholesterol level below 200 milligrams per deciliter is considered desirable. Levels between 200 and 239 milligrams per deciliter are borderline high, and levels of 240 milligrams per deciliter or higher are considered high. LDL cholesterol. LDL cholesterol levels should ideally be below 100 milligrams per deciliter. Levels between 100 and 129 milligrams per deciliter are near optimal, 130 to 159 milligrams per deciliter are borderline high, 160 to 189 milligrams per deciliter are high, and levels of 190 milligrams per deciliter or higher are very high. HDL cholesterol. Higher HDL cholesterol levels are better for your heart. An HDL level of 60 mg per deciliter or higher is considered protective against heart disease. Levels below 40 mg per deciliter for men and below 50 mg per deciliter for women are considered low and are a risk factor for heart disease. Triglycerides. A triglyceride level below 150 mg per deciliter is considered normal. Levels between 150 and 199 mg per deciliter are borderline high. 200 to 499 milligrams per deciliter are high, and levels of 500 milligrams per deciliter or higher are very high. If your cholesterol levels are high, your healthcare provider may recommend lifestyle changes and, in some cases, medication to help lower your cholesterol and reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease. Lifestyle changes to lower cholesterol making healthy lifestyle choices is the first line of defense against high cholesterol. Here are some steps you can take to lower your cholesterol levels. Eat a heart-healthy diet. Focus on a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Limit foods high in saturated fats, trans fats, and cholesterol. Increase physical activity. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate-intensity aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous-intensity activity each week. Incorporating strength training exercises can also help improve cholesterol levels. Maintain a healthy weight. Losing excess weight can help lower LDL cholesterol and triglycerides while raising HDL cholesterol. Quit smoking. Smoking lowers HDL cholesterol and damages blood vessels, making it easier for LDL cholesterol to build up. Quitting smoking can improve your HDL cholesterol level and overall heart health. Limit alcohol intake. Drinking too much alcohol can raise triglyceride levels and contribute to high blood pressure, both of which are risk factors for heart disease. If you found this video helpful and want to join a community dedicated to improving health, subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll receive regular updates, tips, and expert insights, and be part of a supportive network that will support you in your journey to better health. Medications to lower cholesterol for some individuals lifestyle changes alone may not be enough to lower cholesterol levels. In such cases, medications may be prescribed. Common types of cholesterol-lowering medications include statins, 
Satins are the most commonly prescribed cholesterol-lowering drugs. They work by blocking a substance your liver needs to make cholesterol, which reduces the amount of cholesterol circulating in your blood. Bile acid sequestrants. These drugs work by binding to bile acids in your intestines, preventing them from being reabsorbed. Because your body needs cholesterol to make bile acids, it pulls more cholesterol from the blood to replace the bile acids, lowering LDL cholesterol levels. Cholesterol absorption inhibitors. This type of medication reduces the amount of cholesterol your body absorbs from the food you eat, leading to lower LDL cholesterol levels. PCSK9 inhibitors. These newer drugs help the liver absorb more LDL cholesterol from the blood, lowering overall LDL cholesterol levels. Fibrates. Fibrates primarily lower triglycerides but can also increase HDL cholesterol levels. Niacin. Niacin, a B vitamin, can help lower LDL cholesterol and triglycerides while raising HDL cholesterol. However, it is less commonly used today due to potential side effects. Conclusion Cholesterol is an essential substance for the body, but too much of it, particularly LDL cholesterol, can lead to serious health problems, including heart disease and stroke. Understanding the role of cholesterol, the factors that affect its levels, and how to manage it through lifestyle changes and, if necessary, medication, is crucial for maintaining good cardiovascular health. Regular monitoring of cholesterol levels and working with a healthcare provider to develop a personalized plan can help reduce the risks associated with high cholesterol and promote a healthier life. Cholesterol is not inherently bad, rather, it is about maintaining a balance between good cholesterol and bad cholesterol in the body. Striking this balance is crucial because cholesterol plays a vital role in various bodily functions, including cell membrane formation, hormone production, and digestion. However, when LDL cholesterol levels become too high, the risk of developing cardiovascular diseases increases significantly. To maintain healthy cholesterol levels, it is important to adopt a lifestyle that includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, and weight management. Foods rich in unsaturated fats, such as olive oil, nuts, and fatty fish, can help improve cholesterol profiles by lowering LDL and raising HDL cholesterol. Additionally, Reducing intake of foods high in saturated and trans fats can prevent spikes in LDL cholesterol. For those unable to manage their cholesterol through lifestyle changes alone, medications like satins may be prescribed to help lower LDL cholesterol and reduce the risk of heart disease. Regular checkups with a healthcare provider to monitor cholesterol levels are also essential in managing overall cardiovascular health. By understanding and controlling cholesterol, Individuals can take proactive steps toward a healthier heart and a longer, more vibrant life.